Okay, so you nine, we're going to learn how you can talk about your school day. And in order to do that, we're going to look at five questions. So question number one says, Como vas a insti por la mañana? So, como vas a insti means, how do you go to school in the morning? Okay, that's going to be question number one. Question number two, a que hora, which always means at what time. So, a que hora empiezan las clases. Now, that is to start. They start. And las clases are your lessons. So, if we want to translate that into nice English, we would say, at what time do your lessons start. Okay, then we've got cuántas clases tienes al día? Cuántas is how many? And we said that clases were lessons. So how many lessons tienes do you have al día each day? Then we've got a que hora es el recreo. So a que hora, at what time? Es, is, el recreo is the break. So at what time is the break? So when is your break? And que días tienes ciencias? Que días, what days? We would say which, I know, but what days tienes do you have? Ciencias, science. Okay, so we're going to look at all of those five questions, each individually, and write some answers. So we start with number one. ¿Cómo vas al instituto por la mañana? So we know we need an answer to how do you go to school in the morning? Let's have a look. Well, we've got boy n, and this just means I go, and obviously n would mean in, but we would say by. So I go by, and what are our options? What could we say? I go by coche, so I go by car, or I go in car. Boy en autobús, I go by bus. Boy en taxi, I go by taxi. Or you could just say boy a pie, and this literally means I go on foot. So if you walk, that's what you'll need to say. But you could give a little bit more information and you could say what time you leave the house, which would be salgo de casa a. So I leave the house at, and then we need some times. So maybe it's las siete y media, which is half past seven or maybe it's las ocho menos cuarto so this is eight o'clock menos cuarto menos quarter so that makes it quarter to eight or maybe it's simply las ocho which is eight o'clock If you're very lucky, this is a nice late start. If you don't have to leave the house till las ocho y cuarto, that is quarter past eight. Okay, the second one said, a que hora empiezan las clases? So, at what time? Do the lessons start? Right, well, let's have a look. What time do the lessons start in this school? Well, you can say las clases empiecen a las ocho because they start at eight o'clock y cuarenta, so eight and forty, which is eight forty, y terminan and they finish a las tres y media at half past three. So you can say the lessons start 
start at 840 and finish at half past three. 3.30, so las clases empiezan a las 8 y 40 y terminan a las 3 y media. Number three, ¿cuántas clases tienes al día? Now this is nice and easy for us. We've got tenemos, so we have, tenemos seis clases. We have six lessons al día, so we have six lessons a day. Y cada clase dura 50 minutos. And each lesson... Dura means lasts 50 minutes. So for that one, ¿cuántas clases tienes al día? You can say, tenemos seis clases al día y cada clase dura 50 minutos. Okay, number four. ¿A qué hora es el recreo? So at what time is break? At what time is the break? Now let's have a look. We've got two. So we could start off with saying, hay dos recreos. So there are two breaks. And then we want to give a little bit more detail. We can say, tenemos un recreo de 30 minutos. So we have a break, un recreo de 30 minutos of 30 minutes, a las 10 y 20, at 10, 20, uh, 10, 20. Y la hora de comer, la hora de comer is the way of saying the lunch break, dura 50 minutos, lasts 50 minutes. So that would mean tenemos, we have un recreo, a break, de 30 minutos, of 30 minutes, a las 10 y 20, at 10.20. Y la hora de comer, so and lunch time, or the lunch break, dura 50 minutos, lasts 50 minutes. And obviously the question said, what time are the breaks? So we might want to add that la hora de comer comienza a las 12 y 10, which means lunch break or lunch time starts at las 12 y 10 for us at 12.10. Okay, number five. ¿Qué días tienes ciencias? So that is, what days do you have sciences? Now we tend to talk about science as being a singular thing. So we would say, what days do you have science? But in Spanish, they're plural. So it's your ciencias. So if it says, tengo ciencias, los lunes, los martes y los viernes, then tengo, I have. So I have science. Los lunes on Mondays. So you can see that in Spanish you would say the Mondays. And we would say on Monday. So on Mondays. On Tuesdays. And on Fridays. Good. We might go on to say me encantan las ciencias porque son muy interesantes. Again remembering that las ciencias is plural. So science says... So I love sciences because they are interesting, even though in English we would say I love science because it is interesting. Okay, so just remember your plural for the Spanish. Las ciencias son, they are, and interesantes. And you could also say something like también saco buenas notas. So también is also... Saco is I get when you're talking about grades and buenas notas are good grades. Well done.